a couple things that I seen on here that I definitely want to address. One thing I definitely wanted to address because everybody's been tagging me. Gotta stop. Yeah, she took one of the roses off the wall. Okay. Like. So, the thing that I will say is this. I am very offended with the way that our culture, especially like the urban culture, the ur urban community, how we choose to cancel people just based off of pure foolishness and ignorance. And the things that we uphold people in be ridiculous. And I really don't understand like the thoughts that people be having. Like, do we forget in the back of our mind that, you know, they've had a pattern of behaviors or do we just allow people to just be whatever the fuck they want to be with no consequences so when i was on black ink everybody said that i was a liar i was a manipulator everybody said that um i was a gold digger that was one of the funniest things that was said about me. Her fucking hilarious. Um, motherfucker said that they gave me my shop. Like it was just so much stuff. And because of platform. Because people. Were still on a TV show. Y'all believed everything that was said. And for me. I'm just like. When do we start being more responsible with our support when when do we start doing that shit because when i talked about the shit he was doing in the shop i was being a manipulator when i said certain shit was going down i was lying when i talked about him putting his hands on me y'all said i was a liar now what's funny to me is how many domestic violence survivors like myself Nobody believed you when you told somebody that you was going through what you was going through, which forced you to probably stay in it longer than you really had to because your ass didn't know no other way out. But none of y'all believed it. Y'all said I was crazy. Um, and I stayed silent. I've been very silent for a long time. Once I did the Breakfast Club interview, VH1, the same network that fired C's. VH1 sent me a cease and desist after I did the Breakfast Club interview. That's what they did. The same people that has now fired him over a fucking dog. Now, for some of y'all, y'all gonna say, oh, this is about him. This is definitely not about him. This is about why the fuck black women feel like we are so fucking unprotected, disrespected, this is why this is what this is really about, especially a fucking entire network that knew what the fuck I was going through, but did not want that to be part of my storyline, which forced me to leave. Allowed him to drag me through the mud, berate me, belittle me, publicly humiliate me. Drag out the fact that I was a rape survivor as a fucking child. He, he put that story out on the fucking shade room. And they posted that shit. That was the first time majority of my family even knew about that stuff. I went through suicide attempts. I went through depression. I went through some very fucking dark shit behind this. And a lot of it is because a lot of people would send me hate messages. Call my tattoo shop, the beautiful shop that I'm in right now. Call this place of business with threats. All over a fucking TV show with a nigga that was fucking abusing me behind closed doors. And then over a fucking dog, that's when they pulled the plug. And for everybody that's negative, that want to say no one cares, um, I see shit, uh, girl, he's not worried about you, why cry now? See, that's the problem with people now, because that's what y'all think this is. This really ain't that, okay? This ain't that. 
Y'all minds are so fucking small and caught up on fucking reality TV and fucking social media that y'all really don't be seeing how shit really affect your whole motherfucking life. That's why we don't got rights to abortion right now, too. Because it be stupid motherfuckers like y'all that think shit is just cute and funny and a, he, a key key. But be the first ones needing some shit. The shit is crazy. Grow the fuck up. So, my first thing to say is, damn VH1. A woman's... A dog is more important than the amount of disrespect that y'all have allowed people to even portray. Do you understand? That is the shit that y'all are allowing to be on the front line of fucking entertainment. That's what this shit is really about. It's about holding the motherfuckers who really sit in these chairs accountable. That's what it's really about. But y'all so caught up on the dumb shit that y'all ain't even gonna catch that. And y'all see this shit going down. We got motherfuckers that could have voted for different things to even be caught up in the mix right now. Like, we be worried about the dumb shit that we don't even pay attention to the important shit. And the shit be so corny to me. It's sad. This past year, I think, and I don't know, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't keep up with shit. Like, let's just keep it 100. But I did see how the situation, even with his daughter, a child, a young black woman, ain't even enough to make y'all hold somebody accountable. And the lock life, yeah, signing a contract doesn't mean you signed a contract to be raped, be little, and defame and, and, and fuck up somebody's whole life, sweetheart. I don't know what type of contract you think was, was in that, but it wasn't that, sweetie. It wasn't. But I didn't say anything. I had, I had proof of everything. Still, y'all know from the Breakfast Club, I keep receipts. Okay, that's one thing y'all know about me. I keep receipts, okay? So there's several receipts that I have that I never put out because I just wanted peace. And I still didn't get peace. I still got dragged into the show. I still got talked about. They still use a fake me. They still use clickbait to get y'all to tune in. So now that's why I can talk. I can talk now. Because it ain't nobody on the other end to make y'all believe no dumb shit. That's why. That's why I'm talking now. Because when proof, when proof reveals itself, then it's, that's when you talk. That's when you talk. See, a lot of y'all be talking about a lot of shit and y'all don't even be knowing what y'all talking about. See, that's why I didn't say shit about nothing. But now, oh yes, I'm going to be definitely talking. That's why I created Beat Yourself Beautiful. That's why I've helped so many beautiful, melanated kings and queens who were suffering from abuse, sexual, mental, emotional, all kind of stuff. That's what I've been doing. And I don't post it because they don't deserve to be fucking played with by some of y'all that don't know how to talk to people. The Lock Life, I, I think you should click off my live because you just an ignorant person. And I don't have time to address all of your ignorance, baby. It's just not enough time in the day. Now let me get back to some of y'all comments that make sense to talk about. Well, let's address what the lock life said. Dragged onto a show that you got paid for. Sweetheart, now a contract exists when you're under contract. Once I was out of contract... Meaning I could do whatever the fuck I wanted to with my life, which I left seven years ago. At that point, they didn't have to fucking use my image or my like. I, I hate when people speak when they, I, I would never speak on something I don't know about. I just wouldn't. After you left the show, everything, hmm. Hmm, I remember your Breakfast Club interview. You definitely spoke facts. Breakfast Club part two, maybe. I know that's right, okay? <laughs> Cashmere, okay? For real. No, what happened is after I did the Breakfast Club, the ratings went down a couple hundred thousand. So they sent me a cease and desist. But the interview was already done. 
Oh, and sweetheart, I never got my veneers done by no Montoya. That was C's who got his teeth done there. I didn't do that, sweetie. Wrong person. Do I regret being? No, honey. That was the greatest decision I ever. The greatest decision I ever made was to walk away from everything that didn't serve me. Cause that's what I did. I walked away with the contract fulfilled. Fulfilled my obligation and walked away. Yeah. With money on the table. That's what I did. So no, you're wrong. The greatest choice I ever made was choosing me. We all knew the truth, Duchess, and God revealed it all. So sad how women were treated on that show by those men. Mm -hmm. Tell VH one now. Yes, I'm tired of people allowing excuses to satisfy everything. Oh, Cashmere said, now would you go back or are you Johnny Depp with Disney? <laughs> I want to be honest with you. It's nothing to go back to. Um, This is mine. I'm in my space, and I hate to say it, but my space is a beautiful space to be in. My space feels good. My space is mine. You know what I'm saying? I control my space. No executives, no executives control this. This is me. So I don't know. I I I, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. I haven't talked to anybody from the show in over. Hannibal, what's good? Hannibal is the king, a, a king of Harlem, a legendary king of Harlem. And he'll tell you, out in them Harlem streets, Dutch get nothing but love still to this day. So for me, it's, it's, it's just so, it's so sad that the show had to play such a terrible light in the entire situation. It was a terrible light, period. It was a great opportunity. I thought it was going to be something different, but... No, it was a terrible light. And I don't know. Just being in your own, it just feel different. It hit different. But I'm going to tell y'all something else that I feel like is very important too. Public disrespect. Okay? Public disrespect, public humiliation, um, all of those things require public apologies. Like you can't keep dragging people and can't can't keep like making people feel like they're absolutely nothing or trying to diminish their brand or diminish you can't you can't keep doing that pe to people and expect them to just be okay with it and when you right all of your wrongs that's when really that's when god start opening up the windows of heaven and he just start pouring out blessings and for me that's what my life has been i am not perfect but what i have done is right at my wrongs and I made sure that in me righting my wrongs, I didn't want to be the same person. Love yourself first. That's where I fucked up. Publicly. And humiliated myself in front of the whole world. And allowed a man to humiliate me in addition to that. That's what I did. So, now, the version that I've allowed myself to really embrace would never allow that type of shit ever ever hate me or love me i know what i endure sweetheart and like i said i have receipts you can believe whatever you want to believe you can believe his daughter or you cannot believe her that is your choice that is absolutely your choice queen and it's always the women that question women have y'all seen that i see more men coming to like be supportive of women that's that's enduring shit than women. It be women being haters. It be the women. It be crazy. Next to five, you should go to um you should go look back at my Breakfast Club interview that was done years ago when I left Black Ink and you'll see that I did it then. Okay? I don't got nothing to prove to none of y'all. But if you need receipts, go back and search for them. Do your due diligence. Do your research. Okay? It's been said, but now it's been proven. Okay? <laughs> That's what that is. Okay, so S Storm Monroe TV said, The Breakfast Club interview broke it down and the daughter said it too. Mm. Hate me or love me, you seen a fucking TV show. Okay? 
If you don't know me personally, you can't speak on what you've seen. You only seen what a white man allowed you to see on a TV show, okay? Use your mind. You ain't seen nothing. You done seen the police call that a house on TV, but you ain't know why, because they ain't show all of that. Like, y'all really got to start thinking a little bit more. It's, it's, it's starting to make it seem like, damn, people really can fool the fuck out of you. Sorry, but that's, that's what it's giving. Anyway, go back to the Breakfast Club. Watch that interview if you need any clarity, any anything. The whole purpose of this live was to allow y'all to understand that a lot of the things that y'all see, don't believe a lot of it. Allow yourself to read between lines. When you see certain characteristics and certain things, pay attention to it because y'all be seeing shit. But you choose to ignore it. We choose to ignore it. We've, cho we've chosen to ignore so many different people who've done crazy things, terrible things, and we allowed it to just hate me or love me. Why would I So I may have thought that I was in love, but there's no way I was in love and I didn't even love myself. Now, I'm going to need for you to X out of this live because your comments I'm giving too much attention to. And clearly, you need it in a different type of way. Are you him? Are you kin to him? What's your tea? Don't you love when God reveals the truth? It's the best way. Yes, honey. Let me tell you. Y'all, I was so... It, it was at one point, the truth was eating me up. And I was feeling like they keep using me. They keep telling lies on me. And I can't tell my truth. I can't tell my truth. And my mom was like, it, tell it for what? He only gonna make it seem like you lying again. They have the power. They have the power to send me a cease and desist, okay? They have the power. And I had to eat that and just pray and just ask God to keep me at peace because I was going through it emotionally. Like, nowhere could I go. People weren't asking me questions, saying something, something to me. Everywhere I went. No, none of them have ever reached out to me to apologize. Not one of them. Not one. And I'm okay with it because I've already accepted that that's not something that's in the fabric of their, you know, I say unlearn, relearn, because there's things that I learned as a child that I had to unlearn as an adult. However, some people don't ever reach that pinnacle in life. You feel me? Some, t some people don't feel like that's something that's necessary. They feel like it's okay for them to stay stuck in some of those habits and some of those ways. But for me, you know... I'm just glad that I learned how to deal with it my way. That's that's what I'm glad because that was important. Hate me or love me. You said they made me look like a villain, but you you fell right into it, baby. You fell right into it. So Ted and Scott did all that talking about you, but knew you were getting abused. Do you think they gave a fuck about me? Ask yourself that question. Y'all crazy. The questions y'all ask, I just be like, wow. The nerve, the nerve of your question, darling. Ask yourself that question. You're clearly smart enough to type it. I think you can answer it. Anyway, sealed with the six, you said, nah, what we saw was a woman with boundaries enforcing her shit, okay?